back to my channel. So today I have my very bold in your, well not like so in your face, but I know this is a lot of in your face for a lot of people. This is um, a lot. Anyhow, I have my kind of holiday glam kicked up a notch or ten. Uh, I wanted to sit down and give you guys two different types of looks that you could do this holiday season for Christmas. And um, last week I showed you guys this really classic kind of pin up -y holiday glam and this year this look I wanted to really amp everything up. I paired a really kind of statement eye with a statement lip as well. So I just wanted to do something that gave you guys a little bit of variety. So if you guys want to see how to get this look, then just keep watching. So I'm going to start out in the crease of my eye with the shade right here from the Coastal Sense Revealed 2 palette and I'm going to apply this in the higher portion of my crease and this is going to be my transition shade because I am going to apply three additional colors to my crease. I'm going to go back into that palette and take this burgundy-ish wine color and apply that into the high portion of my crease as well. I really want this color to peek over top of the other two shades I'm going to add so I'm going to build this color intensity up. Then I'm going to go in with Skinny Dip from NYX. I have used the shadow in my last tutorial. I just really love it. And I'm applying that in the lower portion of my crease just to add some depth to this look. Then to intensify that line even more, I'm going in with this Mary Kay Cosmetics Mineral Eye Shadow in the shade Sweet Plum and applying that right over top of Skinny Dip to really deepen and smoke out this look. And you want to make sure you blend. Blend, blend, blend. Then I'm taking a smaller brush in that same shadow and applying that to the outer and inner corner of my eye, leaving the center of my lid completely bare. And then I'm going to spritz my brush with a little bit of setting spray and then go into the shade Gold Lust from NYX. This is kind of like a chunkyish, glittery eyeshadow. It is not a foil shadow, but if you do wet your brush down, it does turn into a foil eyeshadow and looks amazing. I don't recommend using this shade um, without spritzing your brush because you'll have like a ton of fallout and it's just not as vivid. But I'm going to apply that to the center of my lid and then I'm going to go in with this Milani. This is their, um, I forget what this is called. Oh, their Fierce Foil Shine uh, palette and this, this is in the shade 01 Milan and I'm applying that to my the center of my eyelid and it just gives this chunky, glittery, effect this is not it's a wet shadow and it's not a cream though it's just it's hard to explain you need to go out and get one but I'm going to take that brush not wetting it down and I'm going to kind of tap some more gold lust right over top of it because I was afraid that it was going to crease I really like the chunky gold effect it gave but I didn't like the texture of them if that makes sense it's just it's not wet it's wet but it's not a cream it's just, you have to go out and get one because it's really hard to explain. But I'm just taking that pointed brush and kind of cleaning up the crease a little bit more. Then I'm going to take that small brush, taking one side skinny dip and one side gold lust. This is what's going to help blend the center of our lid together. So one side gold, or one side gold lust, one side skinny dip. So you're just going to flip the brush back and forth on the edges to give a really smooth, seamless blend going on. I'm then going to line my top lash line really thin and, sh and small. I'm going to just use this as a way to kind of camouflage the lash band when I apply my false lashes because I am going to use false eyelashes in this look and you need something to kind of conceal the band. So I'm going to add a very thin layer of mascara to my lashes, just my top lashes, for something for my false lashes to stick on top of. Um, this is the CoverGirl Supersizer Mascara. I am going to go back in with this once my false eyelashes have had a chance to dry, but yeah. I'm going to go in with that burgundy shade from the Coastal Scents palette and apply that with a thicker brush than I typically would. I actually blended this bottom lash line down a whole lot further than I typically do and I really liked the way it looked. I'm going to go in with Sweet Plum just to deepen that up again and just kind of mirror my crease on my bottom lash line. 
So yeah, my false eyelashes are already on. So now that they've had a chance to dry, I am going to go in with mascara, but I wanted to line my bottom waterline first. And then I'm using the same CoverGirl Supersizer Mascara and applying that. You really want to wait, if you're using false eyelashes, wait for the glue to completely dry when the lashes are on. And then go in with mascara to blend your real lashes and your false eyelashes together. Then for cheeks, I'm going to go into this J Cat Beauty Love Struck Blush Bronzer Duo in the shade, um, this is zero or 103 Coral Dumpling. And I'm just going to apply that to my cheekies and that is my blush face. Everybody has one of those. I said that last week. Then I'm going to go into this Wet n Wild Perfect Pout Gel Lip Liner in the shade Gone Burgundy and applying that pretty much all over my lids. I'm using this as my lipstick but really paying close attention to what I'm doing when it comes to actually lining the edges of my lip to get a really nice precise line. Then I'm going in with the Maybelline Color Sensational High Shine Lip Gloss in the shade Raspberry Ablaze just because I wanted something nice and smooth over top of that and that's the look. So here you guys go. This was the final look. Here's a close up of the eyes. I hope you guys have really enjoyed this. Give me a thumbs up if you did. Also, please don't forget to hit that subscribe button and be notified every single time I upload a new video, which happens to be every Tuesday. But I do love you all very, very much. Don't forget there is a full list of products I use in the description box below this video. I love you guys very, very much. Have a Merry Christmas and I'll see you next Tuesday. Don't forget. Make good choices.